Hello guys, welcome to my channel. There is a new game available for Cosmo and it is submitted by a user again. This is the second time that we have a game and I like to say a user. It reminds me of the movie Tron. So let's have a look here in the code lab. Color Shuffle submitted by Cosmo. Test your memory with Cosmo's tricky color shuffling game. I like uh, the fact that uh, people use the cubes here to shuffle colors and uh, play uh, games uh, like memory games. I think it's a great idea. So color shuffle. Line up Cosmo's cubes in front of you. Once you tap the start flag, Cosmo will show you some colors on his cubes. Pay attention because after Cosmo switches the colors, he will ask you to find one. So he's going to switch colors. I wonder, I wonder how. Each round gets harder. How many levels can you complete? User submission by Cosmo. And again, look, Enki is even using the term user, like I said at the beginning, and I was joking. Nothing makes us happier than playing your unique code, creation, you can submit. Yes, we saw this before. So let's go back here, and I'll put the cubes in front of me. I don't think the cubes makes a difference, but anyway, cube one, paperclip, cube two, the lamp, Cube 3, the baby in the car seat. We'll put Cosmo in the middle, just like this. And now we're going to tap on Start. I think we have to listen to what Cosmo has to say because I'm not sure here in the instructions what he mean by switches colors. So tap on Start. He seems to be excited to play. Let's get shuffling, <laughs> okay. Level one. Round one. Level one, round one. Here okay. are the colors. Keep an eye on green. Okay, we need to keep an eye on green. Okay, green is here. Shuffling. Now he's shuffling. Oh, okay. Grain was here, and he sh I, I think he shuffled these two, so Grain so should still be here. Yes. Very good. I think that's what I think that's what they mean by Cosmo switches the colors, but he did not touch this one. Level one. We'll try. Round two. We'll try again and see here if my theory. Here the yeah, we'll try to see if my theory is correct. Okay, we need to keep an eye on purple right here. Shuffling. Where is purple? Purple was here and we saw he shuffled these two. Didn't touch this one. So purple went here, I think. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Cosmo. I like your game. I like the game, Cosmo. It's nice. Round three. Here are the colors. Okay. okay. Keep an eye on red. Okay, an eye on red. This one here. It should get harder now, I guess. Shuffling. Okay, he's not moving red. Where is red? Oh, my friend, that was easy. It's right here, Cosmo. You did not touch it. Yes. That was too easy, my friend. Yes, ta -ta -la -la, I know it, but that's what that was too easy, uh, Cosmo. Level two. There was, there's no um, no reason level to celebrate. One. Oh, level two. It should this be more difficult. Will be harder. I hope so, my friend. This was too Here easy. Are the colors. Keep an eye on purple. Okay, purple is here. We'll see what he shuffles. They say switches in the instructions, shuffle. but Cosmo says shuffle. So green is now here, and now green is moving here. Where is purple? Right here, my friend. That's right. So this was misleading because in the instructions they say Cosmo switches the colors, but he does say shuffle. Level two. So he shuffles the color. Round two. I wonder. Here are the colors. I wonder how many rounds I'm going to play. Keep an I'm going to play one more. Purple is here. I'm going to play one more round to see if it's more difficult. Purple is here, okay? Shuffling. Shuffling. Purple is now here. 
Stropol is going back here. Where is purple? My friend, purple did not move. Right here. Very good. I know, Cosmo, I like this. I like these uh, memory games. Why are you disappointed? Why? Level three. Okay, level three, the last level. Here are the colors. Last level I'll play because I want to see. Red. I want to see if it will be more difficult level. It should be level three. So red is here. Shuffling. Shuffling. Okay, red is not moving. Red is moving here. Red is moving here. Where is red? Right here, Cosmo. Very good. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. You're very talkative tonight. I'm going to stop here because well, I'll tap on stop. I realized last night when I did the video editing that I didn't show what happens when we actually miss. So I'm going to take a few seconds here to, uh, to show that. So now Cosmo is going to go through the routine. Let's get shuffling. Yes, let's get the shuffling, my friend. Level one. Round one. And I'll miss here on purpose. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on red, this one here. Shuffling. So shuffling red, so red now is here. Where is red? I'll miss on purpose here, see what happens. So this is what we get, two misses Level left. One. So we have three misses before uh, it is game over. I want to look briefly inside the code, uh, especially when a game was submitted by a user. I think it's interesting to see inside. But again, you can skip it if you want, guys. You can go to my conclusion right away. So here we have set up and begin the game. Enable the cubes for guessing input. Set all the cube lights to black, which is basically no light here. Yeah, this means no light. Increment the round if less than what is declared in the levels list. Otherwise, increment the level. That's a big loop here. Here we have Clear the data out of all lists used in the game. Clear the data out of the shuffle cubes list. Tell the player how far they made it. Oh, you made it to level. Shake me to play again. Okay. Restart the game from level one. Choose a random, uh, okay, a bit more challenging. This will be harder. Okay, here there's a random phrase. Here we have, use the current level to determine how many times to shuffle the colors. So Cosmo says shuffling. Nothing else here at the bottom. And here on the right, spin the lights of colors as they are currently ordered. And then start a new round of play set starting values for game variables choose a random reaction for Cosmo based on a correct answer okay you will say yes very good or that's right Choose a random reaction for Cosmo based on a wrong answer. Okay, sorry, wrong one. That's not it. Oops. Here we have a new column on the right. Show the colors as they are currently ordered. Okay, yeah, Cosmo says here are the colors. Use spinning lights to show which colors are being shuffled. Very nice, uh, very nice code here, by the way. Compare the guess the player made with the target color. Player has guessed correctly. Player has guessed wrong. Display current misses, subtract one, then update the display. 
next uh, column of, of code here. If cube input is enabled, set the player guess to the cube number. If cube input is enabled, set the player guess to the cube number. If cube input is enabled, set the player guess to the cube number again. Get the number of the cube that has the target color. Display the location of the target color. Cosmo displays the current amount of misses on his face. We did not see that because I did not miss, but it looks like he does display the number of misses on his face. And that seems to be the end here. Let's see here if there is anything else on the right. Um, no, not that I can see. So guys, I must say uh, congrats to uh, Cosmore. Uh, this is a very nice uh, game, very nice uh, coding. And, uh, and I guess here I did not mention that before, but when the two cubes were flashing here, it was basically to simulate that Cosmo was shuffling the cubes like that, right? So that's the game where you would put, you would have three cups, you would have something in the cup and you would like quickly shuffle and try to have people guess where is the object under the cups. So that's a nice idea again by uh, Cusmore. So uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. I hope you, uh, you like the game. Personally, I think it's a great game. So uh, have a great day. Hope to see you soon on my channel. Goodbye.